Now also, uh, we allowed you to uh, machine and change the, the rotational axis of four axis machining to the positive Z and negative Z axis. For instance, in this dialog over here in the machining dialog, we have the um, machine set to five axis, uh, but we have the fourth axis rotation set to plus C or minus C, and check this box down here to use that uh, for the four axis machining operations. Uh, previously, you know, we did not support uh, the rotational axis in the plus or minus uh, Z axis of the part. is where we have, uh, in this case, we have a mesh uh, and the machine tool uh, for this particular part, um, the rotational axis and the fourth axis is along the Z axis. So it's up and down, okay? Uh, previously, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Joe, I don't believe we could actually assign the fourth axis rotation to be a positive or minus uh, no, Z. you could not. Okay. Yeah, no. could not. So you actually couldn't machine it. You would actually have to roll the part over and uh, machine it on on a machine whose rotational axis was either in the X well, or the Y. Well, one way you could have done that would be to use setups and use the Z axis, uh, no, the X axis to align with the machine coordinate Z. And mm -hmm. then uh, kind of, you know, there, you had to do a lot of... Uh, you know, gyrations to get what you wanted, but now it's much simpler. Mm -hmm. So if you look, if you look at this, you see this is a five-axis um, machining job. Let's go look at the machine. So we got the machine set to five axis. We have the um, the fourth uh, primary axis. Okay, so this is the fourth rotational axis. So it is now can can now be assigned to the plus c or or minus c if you look at the arrow here plus or minus c okay um but now we have a checkbox down here where you can actually run this in four axis mode so you can actually lock the rotational axis to the plus or minus z okay um and run this as a four axis operation uh with the rotational axis running vertically uh, in the Z axis. Uh, did I miss anything on that, Joe? Is that pretty precise what we're doing? That's fine, yeah, that's, that's a good explanation, yeah. Okay, okay. So um, we also, that's actually the end of our parts. So we're a little bit early. If you guys got any questions or if you want me to go back over anything, was there any questions, Joe, in the questions panel? Joe, you still with me? Okay. Sorry, I was on mute. Sorry. That's okay. uh, yeah, the, if you just want to talk about the difference between high speed, you know, pocketing and facing a little bit, I think there's a little bit of confusion there. Okay. Let's go back over to, uh, I guess that would be high speed pocketing facing would be this one, I guess. Mm. Yeah, go ahead and open that. And just open the parameter dialog. To, not this one, the. The high speed facing. Oh, the high speed facing. Okay, that's this one over here. Uh, where is it? There it is. Okay. Yeah, just open up the parameter dialog. Uh, 